Hello everyone and welcome back to the stream for DMD Strixhaven. Hi, I'll come back. I am Ebi Avita, perpetually tired and exhausted DM. Because I just got done farming 24 grand wheat, so I'm fortunate to get my final three wheels. And I have Fox. I'm happy. I'm glad you're happy. Yep, now to keep doing it, to get all the other stuff that I like to have. Uh, <laughs> Why do I want things? I don't know. Also, man, I caused some uh, toxic stuff by ask by uh, posting a really small question in the chat. Chat in one raid. Boy, did oh. I escalate! <laughs> to people have no chill in that game, or just in general. Am I fourteen? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know in general, but. Sheesh. We'll get into it here, though. By the way, we are joined by my friends Kyo, who plays Eco, the Arakakun Twilight Cleric. Hello. And my good friend Mace of Spades, who plays the Oath of the Watchers. Pal yeah, no, he, he knows it. Yeah. And He's got his eye on you. And my friend, some guy or Sume, as I have dubbed him, playing a Hexblade Warlock. How are you guys doing this week? All right. Sleep schedule's a little messed up, but I'll live. Same. Who's Mine is completely upside down. Whose sleep schedule is it messed up in this call? I'm getting my mic on track, kind of, but <laughs> the least today's game is gonna destroy this again. <sighs> We're glad to be enabling you. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Thank you. I'm Wait. sorry. I'm, I'm not, but I can relate. <laughs> at 1 a.m. last night, and tonight I'll probably be going to bed at 2 or 3 a.m. <laughs> and then waking up early so I can go grocery shopping before all the people come out, because I like going shopping in the morning. Not a lot of people. It's nice. Pray that my truck doesn't die on me. Ah, see, Caravan went to bed around 1 a.m. last night. Good, good, good. No, good to know that none of us are alone. We're all nope. tired together. Oh, I'm tired. My sleep schedule's just messy. Yeah. So it's just me who's tired. Okay, good. Perfect. Alright. Doing something today. Right. Get something. Last left. Uh, let's get to it, shall we? Before I lose motivation. All right, so we last left off our drill trio. Um, they did some studying about Strixhaven history for their outfits to get some extra credit to Dean Tullis whenever they need her again. Which mm. none of you have said that you were going to show her yet. So. It'll probably happen this session. Mm-hmm. All of you fought some smothering rugs, which were basically enchanted bolts of fabric. Running away from Aurora, <laughs> the sleep spell came in clutch. I am and Yosef ruined one. I'm so echoing this. Is it mine again? I'm Let's not see. Sure. Uh, it's what I hear question. my voice. Problem with mine. Eh, I'm sure it will be fine. But, uh, so yeah, with some clutch sleep spells, they managed to calm him down. And then they proceeded to, uh, do some research about Street Savings history for their attire. Learned of a.
records gap approximately 200 years ago in the Daily Plex records about that year's masquerade being missing. And you also remember that it dealt with weird illness going around. That time. Or a student got expelled was a thing from before. Ah, yes. And after that. that, they all attended a fashion show, whereas uh, Pelliver was a bystander who purchased a suit with a self-tying tie. If I recall, yep, a leather suit with a self-tying tie. Gulliver plucked up some courage. Sorry, wrong one. Yosef plucked up some courage <laughs> and helped Rosie out. And did relatively well. Yeah, he did. And, uh... Aurora and Eco teamed up to secure some funds for their outfits. And that left off with Gulliver getting a letter on his bed from the Magister's Masquerade Committee. There we go, that's the word. Ah, right. so uh, yes. About two errands that they are asking him to do. One is to get some supplies from the Biblioplex and transport them to the Kolema Hall, where the masquerade will be taking place. And the other is <laughs> to getting... Uh, uh, marsh wicks from Sedgemore Bayou. Mm -hmm. You guys have uh, voted and you all decide to do the Biblioplex stuff. So, the next morning, Gulliver, Eco, and Yosef, I assume that y'all meet up and have met up and are currently eating breakfast at the cafeteria. Yep. This morning, you can see that Gulliver's breakfast is even more dull than usual. No marmalade for that toast. And in place of the coffee's water. So basically what I've been eating for the last two days. Yesterday, I a package of flour tortillas of water. Today, oh, half a package of 24 Hawaiian soup rolls with water. Yep. Those well, at least are kind of sweet. Mm. Yeah, but those are super sweet. Mm. And most of the food I have is, all, is kind of frozen and taking too long to thaw out. Yeah, I need to uh. in there. Are you all right, Gulliver? Just a bit of a penance. I did very poorly, both in my studies and in combat recently. Uh, does it help? Uh, it tends to weigh in the back of your mind. It's something slight. If I was back home, the penance would be a lot more severe. I don't want to make a scene here, though. No food for two months. <laughs> the bleeding will out. continue until morale improves. Osmosis. No, no, no. Filter feed. Dismemberment will continue until morale improves. <laughs> mm, I like the end. Just grows back limbs when it's ripped off. Alright, Gulliver, did you talk about the errands you were asked to do? They did say to bring friends, and the mm -hmm. Biblioplex one, they will have uh, some people waiting there to help you do the stuff. Mm -hmm. Actually, if you have some time, I was asked by the Masquerade Committee to. Take care of some tasks. Can I bring a moose? Or any other animals? I don't think they'd appreciate that in the Bibula. Ah, Biblioplex. No. But I'm to gather supplies from the Biblioplex as well as collect some herbs that were needed from Sedgemore. Would you be willing to accompany me? I'm not 
have any plans yet? Sh sure. Um, they did say to bring some friends. I'd be glad to help. Thank you. Just staring at his toes dryly. <laughs> mm. It's bread. Yep. Dry. It's what's for breakfast. You decided to torment yourself even further, huh? Bread black. Some people swear by this, actually. That even if it's pitch black, if you just peel off the black outside, that it's delicious on the inside. Right. He'll give it like a tap with like a tink, tink. butter knife. It goes tink somehow. Yeah, well. And a little no damage appears above it. I am impressed. I'm not certain if there is an inner part to this blackness that has enveloped my toast. Sarah toast is like a black hole sucking all the things. I think they charred it through and through, buddy. I don't think there's anything soft in the middle anymore. It's just uh, charcoal. Can you really eat that? Um. Did you want me to roll a constitution saving me? Yes. <laughs> you get a natural one. Oof. All right, so Gulliver, you take a bite of your uh, pitch black hole toast. Uh, <laughs> luckily, you didn't break a tooth, so that's good. It isn't good. But just pounding on his pounding on his chest, <laughs> just taking that. multiple gulps of water. Just uh, I'll get you. Proper sandwich. And I thought that the rations they gave us so I didn't feel missions were bad. Hard tack was better than that. And that's <laughs> Ooh, hard tack. Man. That brings back memories. Not for me. That's cool. I used to make that actually when I was at my first apartment. It's Not great. <laughs> Because it was cheap to make in filling. You know, that's fair. That's fair. Point taken. Mm-hmm. Hi, chat. The two of us here are living on two string budgets to the point where there's no sh shoe. It's just string. Well, I am. Granted, that was many, year, many years ago by now. Better place now. Yeah, it's okay. Mm-hmm. All right, what's Eco and Yosef eating? Does Yosef have more pop tarts? <laughs> mm, probably not. No, he's upgraded to a toaster strudel. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> you feeling fancy in that The pop, the pop tart that needs extra work. <laughs> right. And no, he's not sorry. <laughs> Funnily enough, I don't think I ever had toaster strudels. I enjoy them. I mean, they're basically sort of like they're a Danish. They're, they're, they're the flaky, mm -hmm. flakier pop tart with icing you can put in. Yeah, I mean, they're tasty, but yeah. I'm sure they are. It's just that we never could afford them, so we just got pop tarts instead. Eco's just eating a sandwich. What kind of sandwich? Do they still have the, the dragon chili pepper sandwiches? Uh... <laughs> the spicy ones. And here's the bigger question. What? Which hot sauce are you using today? Hmm. Well, yes, if there was already they, uh, hot sauce on there. Nope. Actually, no, they do not have the dragon spicy. That is unfortunate. Um... 
And then Aiko was just like, yeah, you know, just give me the first, the easiest sandwich you can make, and he just throws his own <laughs> chili sauce, his own hot sauce on it. Seven kinds of hot sauce left. Yes. So what will we get this time? <laughs> mm. Uh I forget. Have we tried this in this time? Mm. Well, if you include overlap, there's like fifteen. What did we roll? You know, give me a drink. Yeah, I would just use a... Uh, five. Uh, the Chromatic five. Orb list. Uh, the Nico, you take chaos. your... Uh, you take your, a bite of your sandwich with the hot sauce on it, and it burns going down, but not in the spicy way, more the acidic way. Oh. Well, so I feel like you're probably going to have some major acid reflux after this. Well, Pete takes another bite. It's breakfast. Well, as long as you don't eat an antacid and explode. Some spikes here to go With pop rocks. Bleach. You gotta neutralize them, huh? <laughs> I don't think that's how. <laughs> I think the bleach is a bit too strong, but there. Eh. <laughs> Don't consume bleach, anybody. No! <laughs> nope. That's very dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Yep. Yeah. We on EBS channel do not condone drinking a bleach. If you consume bleach, please consult your medical professional immediately. The only bleach you are allowed to consume on this. None. The only bleach you are allowed to consume on this channel is the anime and manga by Taikubo. Do not eat manga. Yes. You can anime, it with your eyes. And absolutely, do not eat her pancreas. Hmm. Pancreas? Bom, bom, it's bom. a movie title. Oh. Or actually, I think it's light novel or something. As well. You got an anime adaptation. I want to eat your pancreas. I understand it's a lot sadder than the title leads you to believe. Yeah. I don't want to know. The title's very misleading. I don't want to know. Like she has cancer or something. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Like, all right. Big let's... sad. Let, let's let's go back to D and D, please. Where cancer just doesn't note. exist. I don't know. I don't know. Some curses are kind of like a cancer. I mean, Lenny Pator added radiation poisoning to his book. Oh boy. Yep. Talk is scared to drink deer urine. <laughs> Another Which character was in the turned... end, you didn't actually need to do because they just created restoration did anyway. Yeah, but you know what? It was hilarious because one of the players had to turn into a female deer to do it. And they were a robot before, so that just makes it weirder. No, no, the robot was a different thing. Watch roll with me. It's not terrible. Wasn't it T-Wig? I thought it was T-Wig. T-Wig turned Wolfgang into a deer. I thought they turned into it. Nope. Hmm. I where I'm at on Roll With Me, actually. I was black listening, slash watching that. Let's get back to where we were. Right, uh -huh. right. Meanwhile! Meanwhile, breakfast. Your breakfast is good, as good as toaster strudel burnt black. That's <laughs> not good. And, um... <laughs> A normal what? egg sandwich. What did you grab Gulliver? You said you were gonna replace that burnt bread. Yeah, he was he would pay for like a sandwich or something. <laughs> I imagine they just bring it back. They're like, oh my god, what happened? <laughs> I mean the the, the breakfast is 
free. It's in the cafeteria, but it's not free. If you want to go anywhere else, like a uh, fire truck cafe or frozen tavern, then you have to pay. But the cafeteria, the food that you place, is free. That's what you get when you get student volunteers for breakfast. It's like buffet style, too. So. Yeah. Wait, you mean I... <laughs> you <laughs> said you dropped it! A, and grabbed a black... No, you Man, went up I'm to so a much chef. more depressed than I thought. You, Jesus. You, you went up to a chef and specifically asked, and they're like, alright. <laughs> How about Man. this one? Darker. How about this one? Darker. How about this Crisp one? Oh, I said darker than my soul. Darker and crispier. I want it darker <laughs> than black. Buttons. No. <laughs> Why? Well, if I went out of my way to ask for it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, you come back with actual edible food for Kilmer with your silk. Thanks for that. Move the uh, you're not sure if it's bread anymore away from you, Gulliver. Just takes a fork, moving the plate slowly away from it, mm. carefully eyeing it as it moves further away from me. You can feel its routes eating away at it. <laughs> it may be even. Oh no, it's got such a menacing it. aura. All right, we have run this to the ground, I feel. Yep. So, gang, you guys want to head to the biblioplex to start transporting some materials to the, uh, Kalema Hall? Kalema Hall. Okay. Indeed. Well, let us be off, then. Right. Why are you taking so long to load? There we go. So, Gulliver, I'm going to say that you let the uh, mag the uh, Magister's Ball Committee know that you're going to be moving stuff from the Bibliaplex to uh, Kaleva Hall today. So, you, as you arrive, you see about ten students from various, uh, two from each college. <laughs> uh, three of them, one is Greta Gorun, and two, two of them are also from the Muscle Body Glitter. Because both of them are shirtless, and they are always posing, glistening, and extremely muscular. <laughs> and were we expecting to see them here? I think I remember meant something about them having a pack boon with Joseph. No one has a pack boon with her. They are there okay. to, just to help you out. Okay. Sorry, we didn't keep you waiting very long, did we? Oh, that's fine. Did you happen to manage... We took a look at the materials that we hauled, and, uh... I hope you got some transport, because it's a lot! <sighs> How much can... What? Actually, I don't think it says on the actual... Uh, sorry, I was thinking about my spirit statue mascot. Well, what's its size and strength? Medium construct, strength of plus two, 14 strength. Mm, I can carry 15 times 14, so mm -hmm. it's not bad. 210? 
Oliver turns to Eco. Well, it's a roll of the dice, but we could possibly have something really big that could help us carry something. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Greta's like, I'm going to stop you there. This isn't, <laughs> like, one person to haul a bunch of boxes. This is going to take at least six hours? <sighs> like, we did, Maybe like, we... A, we, we did, like, a quick count, and it's about over a hundred boxes of stuff. Uh, maybe we should see if we can borrow a cart or something. Or, uh, Yosef nervously looks at Eco. I would like to point out that it specifically says retrieving the hundreds of storage oh, yeah. boxes. Hundreds. You know how a lot of libraries have kind of those, uh, trolley carts for returning books. Does the Biblioplex have anything like that? Not for rolling it between buildings, probably. Mm -hmm. Uh, Eco, um, you have some, uh, prints, don't you? Uh, yeah. In the bag? Yes. As I said, before, I will see what I can do. Oh, yeah, you're transporting this from uh, the Biblioplex all the way to the Warhol College grounds. <laughs> yeah, book carts aren't going to do that. No. Let's see. Yosef! I don't will... think it's big enough. <laughs> see what we get now? What the? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, no, just me. If it happens. One second. <laughs> okay, last one. Let's. So, as you can see, okay, this is that's better. where the Kaleva Hall is located. Ah! Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. I also right. spelled that wrong. Hold up. Let's see, it's a great bag of tricks, right? Yep. yep. Uh, got a dire wolf, a boar. Or, no, a dire wolf, a panther, and a giant rat. I think two giant rats and, or like it's two, two and seven. Okay, then it's uh, two giant rats and a dire wolf. Yes. Not super helpful. Oh. To rats. <laughs> Wait a, a second. Dire wolf, maybe. Hold up. Let me, because something might have just. Where do I have you? Where do I have you? If it's if it's just like uh. The, the the three badgers like yeah sorry we're we're coming tomorrow. Oh yes. you, what? Hold up. So you go, you take your hand, pull, pull out three furry objects, two giant rats, and a dire wolf. I'm gonna be honest, yeah. rats ain't gonna help. Wolf. Uh, what well, if yes. I was to cast find steed and summon a war horse and then get like a cart to carry everything behind it? Let's see if we can find some cards. Uh, let's see. Unless someone knows. Dinser's floating disc. Oh, that would have been pretty grand. But none of us would know that, would they? I'm gonna go look for how long it lasts. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna... Pine Steed? Yeah. It just lasts. Huh. Yeah, duration you, you instantaneous. So yeah, basically once you've done it, you've summoned the steed and it sticks with you until you summon another one or it gets killed. Because I know huh. that in our Tomb of Horrors game Fizzly used Find Greater Steed and wonderfully abused it. Oh, yeah. Find Greater Steed does the same thing. Is it, uh, summon a griffin? Alright, you have a griffin mm. now. That was a fun game. It's on PC now. Mm. No, that's fine. Alright, so Got this part of D &D. what is your steed? 
Huh? Be Celestial Fae or Fiend of your choice. Hmm. Let's say it is it a... a war horse, a pony, a camel, a dog, mm -hmm. or a mastiff. Let's make it celestial and a war horse. Alright. So it's like a horse with a halo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That or it has eyes all over it, which... Uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a biblically accurate <laughs> war horse. <laughs> oh wow! It has it has like six wings and eyes all over it. And... No, the wings come when you get find greater steed. No, it's a oh. it's a Ubisoft uh, Pegasus. It has wings, but it can't fly. Oof. Yeah. Ouch. As an actual Oof. thing in Assassin's Creed Origins Valhalla and Odyssey. Mm-hmm. <sighs> As long as the flight is a DLC. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can find some carts for... Well... Those. <laughs> so, I will say this. Giant Rat's useless. Dire Wolf can do a cart, but it's going to need some help. I don't know. Wait, Maybe wait. put two giant rats in the yoke. <laughs> you get like a uh, oh, man. <laughs> just get them in a like musher's dog sled. <laughs> a bunch of rats. Maybe, maybe <laughs> if they were a gnome, <laughs> but I not have, this. I do have a spell. Uh oh. What's? <laughs> oh, hey. what's your idea? Uh, Gulliver, your wolf horse, its intelligence goes from a 2 to a 6. Oh. Smart for a war horse. Yeah, it's fine, Steve. They have become unusually intelligent when summoned. Mm hmm. <laughs> Enhance ability. <laughs> uh, I mean, it might help a little bit. I don't know if it. Will help the rats much because I think it's their size more than their strength. Yeah, not the rats, but the wolf. I'm not, I'm not putting a card on. Wait, the how rats. long does enhanced ability last? Up to an hour. Oh, wow. I mean, you can cast it on multiple creatures by upscaling. Huh. Neat. And their carrying capacity doubles. Jeez. Yeah. So. With a direwolf, that's actually quite a lot. Because <laughs> they're large, so they already double their carrying capacity. Yeah, but Warhorse is 18 strength. <laughs> oh, gee. Whereas direwolf is 17 strength. Which is still pretty good for both. Well, you know, if you yeah. uh, cast it as a level 3, you can, ups you can get both the Warhorse and Giant. Yeah, let's but, do that. Let's find carts and load them first. Yeah, find yes, we're jumping the gun here a little bit. Then load them up. The good news is that the wolf and the horse will stay there forever. <laughs> well, for a day for the wolf. <laughs> forever for the horse. Horses are forever. Okay, does, this, does this mean that Gulliver Horses are magic! Does this mean that Gulliver is a horse girl? Oh no. He's a horse ray! <laughs> Alright. Uh, I once aspired to be a jockey, but they told me I was too bulky for that. <laughs> Alright guys, give me... Um... Investigation checks to find places to get some cards. Hmm. We're terrible. Investigation. <laughs> no, see. you guys haven't died yet, so you're doing something. I have a plus two, so. Oh, Doesn't zero. matter! Does oh. not matter! <laughs> We're great. <laughs> <About this. laughs> 
Go I think this happened. Nico, you are just admiring the animals that you have summoned, and just chatting with Greta and some of the other students. Yo, so so you, yo, so you're actually like putting in some effort and asking around, and you do learn that Billyplex does have quite a few cards. As well as some harnesses to attach to animals. Thanks. You do need to have some people haul them over, though. Because they are further well, away. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could bring the animals to them. That is true. Yeah. yeah. Or we could get the muscle club to help. That is true, you can. <laughs> oh, yeah. They'll yeah. be easier to move when they're empty. I know this for a fact. Yes. 100%. The wheel was a fantastic invention, everybody. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Almost as good as fire. Oh, yes. And leathers. When man learned to put a rock on a stick... The world was theirs for the taking. Especially pointy rocks on sticks. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Nothing stopped us after that. Anyways, enough history. All right. Yep. Gulliver would uh, guide the warhorse to kind of bridle it up to the carts. Very good. Cool. Same with the wolf. The, the horse itself seems to be like super accustomed to this. It backs up. Uh, you hear like a beep noise coming. You're not sure where that's coming from, though. It just in my head beep. Horse is telepathic. You uh, easily hook it up to its harness. The wolf is a little bit harder because it's smaller and more. Uh, it is a dire wolf. Yeah, it is pretty big. But you managed to get it set up, and uh, I'd say you guys got. Well, if you're doubling its strength, you have decided to bring in more carts with you, so you, I'd say you got more <laughs> carts. We have to hook them up in sequence, that's gotta be weird. <laughs> yeah, so... no how do I summon Greta? Do I have like a bell or a whistle? They, are, they follow they're you because they're already at the location. Okay. Perfect. No, you have to do like you have a to very do a complicated flex. flex. Yes. <laughs> pose for us, like bird the person. Mandeville flex. Pose, you do pose have for to us. do the Mandeville flex. Yes, Keo. Yes. <laughs> Basically, oh. both your path to alternate which pack you're. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't do the Manderfield flex, you do the Manderfield dance to summon Godfrey. Oh my god, you just get Godfrey. Oh, no, no. It's like, I have an army, we have a Godfrey. Why is he naked? Don't ask. <laughs> oh, can I summon Julie too? Summon She's Julie? scary as fuck. Well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do the Hildebrand quest line, everybody. It's great. Yeah. It you is. Never be disappointed. Disturbed? Yes. Disappointed? Nah. Mm. Alright, as you guys have managed to uh, get all of your uh, carts hooked up to your animals and parked inside the reflex. Along with Greta and her cohorts and the other seven students who are there to help you. Greta looks at you. That's great, guys. One other problem. <clears throat> They're up a flight of stairs. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Uh, wah, wah, wah. Like an up a flight of stairs now, or where we're going is up a flight of stairs? They're located on another floor. 
Well, what we could probably do is set up the staging area below the steps for the horses and swains. Uh, and then from there, we can load them into the carts once they do or get ready to depart. They're not like magic stairs, are they? That's a good question. Because Joseph just looks over to the stairs, remembering, ah, uh, they're not a problem. Do they, does this Biblioflex have a wheelchair accessible area? Yes! They're Everything! Magical, all of them do. All the stairs are magical, but I nice. need to figure out what the magical stairs can do first. Roll 20. Your D&D &D Beyond is really sluggish today. Like, get that magical on the roll 20. Let's get faster. Must be busy. I mean, where else are you going to have Mortal Kombat? Man, now I wish one of us was a monkey. If I if I use my gust of wind from the floor oh. upwards, does it ever make make stuff like uh, elevate a little bit? I mean, it, it pushes stuff fifteen feet back feet backwards. So. <laughs> it Don't think it would push a war horse and a cart up into the I air. Mean, it's very strong wind. <laughs> Now I'm just seeing a devastating cart crash where the cart just lands on the horse and it lands. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> well, that did so much more damage than I thought it would. Uh, <laughs> Alright, as in all strict safe abilities, the stairs and steps leading to into and through the rift are enchanted to move in V shape for full accessibility. See strict safe and accessibility. Excellent. Magic steps and staircases that respond to the needs of those who use them. The stairs might shift up or down like escalators. Hey, all! <laughs> Thank God! No. Well, they might flatten <laughs> out completely before raising or lowering like lifts to accommodate larger creatures and mobility devices. So you Woo. basically could have them turn into freight elevators. Excellent! <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> because they'd be very expensive. Yeah, they would be. And a malfunction could be kind of bad. Oh yeah, one random dispel magic. Whoopsie! Dispel magic, it just crumples in on itself. Which I have killing all occupants. Dispel magic is not in Baldur's Gate Three. Yes. Because it, it would break the game. Yes. They they, they, so. they said that. If they if the spell magic was in the game, they would have to increase the size of the world. Yeah. And like, double. And I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Alright, so. As you approach the stairs, uh, there's like a little panel that fills out. Do you need regular stairs, or do you need the accessibility options? Uh, you poke it, touch screen pops up, and you set it up to freight elevator and the stairs magically transform to a freight elevator. Man, this is ridiculous convenience. That is like large enough to fit everything. Well, this is useful. And it all managed to get up to the correct floor. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I guess if you look around, you don't see the shield guardians over here, so... Cool. Okay, good. We shouldn't be attacked. Well, you know that the shield guardians have to spell sleep for them, so it's not so much as attacking you, more like they'll literally just knock you unconscious. <laughs> and throw you down the stairs. <laughs> This accessibility puts you in a baby cart and just wheels you down. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to save this now. This is going to take a lot of in-game time to complete. But out of game. Do, does anyone looks at Eco shirk their duties, looks at Eco. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely not going to be Yosef. Nope. gulliver has got something to prove today. Uh, Eco is helping. I can be useful. Someone has to control the wolf. Yeah, your babies are involved. You're not going to shirk duties now. Yeah. Also, also, I mean... If if I if I just go away, would would Greta just poof disappear? She doesn't poof or disappear. <laughs> I'd just like to imagine that that it would be so funny. Eco turns around and goes away, and just all the workers go. Pss. To my knowledge, no one has a positive in Greta's relationship. She's just here because she can. Yep. Yeah, she's just here because she was asked to help out. <laughs> She, uh, you, you, has positive in her relationship. I have two with her. Greta? Yeah, Greta. And her ability is that, uh, whenever, uh, move heavy, they show up and help. That's what I wrote down. I, yeah, it I came up remember, last session. I don't remember you, uh, having any interaction with her. Uh, last time I leveled up, I think? And, God, my memory is terrible. It definitely came up, though, because you described her pack boon to all of us. Yeah, because yeah. I, I think I remember saying that I wish someone had, because it was like this. Mm. I don't but remember, I do remember that... I don't remember mm. anybody interacting with her. But we all got, like, plus one with her last time, I think. No, that was oh, someone else. That was uh, Aurora and Rosie. Yeah, but I remember something with Greta. You may have spent uh, some of your downtime at the lifting club. Hmm. I don't think we actually played that out. I'm confused now. Because <laughs> I, I wrote it down, and I already had one with her. And... That is I mean, a good question now. Your job was at the Strixhaven Stadium, but you were really more of a groundskeeper, because that's what Aurora did, and... While, yeah. Uh, Greta does work at the stadium. She's more of an equipment assistant. Yeah. These are the questions. It's not that dumb for you to be used for. I don't believe my own memory. <laughs> but it makes sense. I mean, Gulliver's got like three. Tier two relationships it's got Rosie, Rubina, and Quintilius already by this point. Joseph has none. Well, the fact of the matter is she's here, though, so... Yeah. yeah it doesn't, it doesn't really The pack moon doesn't help she, at all. She, she, she's just there because she was asking. Asking. Yeah. Joseph will only get out of the way if someone tells him he's in the way. Mm-hmm. So I can roll in athletics, and if I do badly, Joseph will... Uh, step back. Surprisingly uh, enough, if there's no check, it's just going to take six hours. 
Huh. Man, I can't believe well, how just... long this would have taken without a horse and cart. Well, I'm going to roll it anyway, and we'll see. <laughs> I mean, if you guys would like to do some investigation during the time of Lucas, some stuff, by all means, go ahead. Oh, yeah, for certain. Because we definitely haven't explored all the Biblio Biblioplex. Yeah. It's a big it's building. It's really to the sure. Because I actually found it. Ha ha. Ah. Uh, Man. Who are you, Gulliver? Are you Robin today? Oh my god, we're so good at this. <sighs> I'm actually not terrible at this one. Yes. Roll20 doesn't like us today. Just really likes to spit in our eye. Uh, hang on. Uh, no. My die is in Arcana. There it is. Alright, I'll say that you guys are essentially in the second Oh, man, we haven't seen this map in a minute. Yeah, because there's really nothing in here yet. Hey, it's a mimic from session one. Sorry, you're on the <laughs> third floor of the actual top. It's more of a... Hard to find. Jeez. Go away, mimic. <laughs> No! But he was researching more fashion. <laughs> he was, yes. By the way, did you watch the video that I sent you? Uh, which. No, no, I did not get the chance to. Okay. Oops. Anyways, let's see. Wow, yeah. So, in the first hour, as you guys move some stuff around, uh, managed to get everything into your carts. And first. About 25% of it is done. You manage to get to the Kalala Hall, you know, load everything, and there's one back. That's for the first hour. I assume that you use Enhance Ability Eco? Yes. On both the Warhorse and the Wolf? Yes. Alright. They got jacked. Like, we're talking Baki levels of jackedness. Oh no, we we're talking Biscuit Oliver. Never seen that series. Oh man. Biscuit Oliver. Alright, second hour. Feel free to give another investigation check if you guys would like to try again. Yes! Uh, One point less than before! Two oh, points yes. less than before! <laughs> Yosef, Thank you for all your points! Yosef, this, this, Yosef, this makes a lot of sense for you, too. Alright, as you guys were. He figured moving, out how to navigate the library. As you guys are making some moves and whatnot, uh, Yosef, you browse the uh, bookshelves and. found out that you've, you found the archive records. Oh, sorry, it was a history check, not an investigation. Oh, I apologize. that's a different story. Well, for me, that's the same roll. <laughs> hey, four points more. I'm good at this. I'll but I'll roll it again. That trolls on the other side, though. Yeah, just roll a history again, just to make it fair. Fair enough. Whew. Yep, nope. <laughs> Well, Eco and Gulliver, you guys you managed to find this. Um, you see a report flutter to the ground, and it's uh, something about an incident 200 years ago involving a mysterious illness striking the campus. About how dozens of students fell victim to it, experiencing fatigue and headaches. And many of them died, wasting away in a matter of days, despite all efforts to cure them. You 
remember that this happened around the same time as the year th the Magister's Masquerade was not documented from when you were looking at the history of it to a, just to a previous day. And before that, last year, Yosef told you about how a student was expelled for some reason. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Yosef, come look at this. Hmm? What was I found... Happening? And huh? Gulliver will hand over the report to Jeez. Yosef. This is... how they... Can... I make some kind of check to try and piece together anything about this uh sure give me just straight intelligence and give me your best piece together thought theory hope we'll see nope Woo! <laughs> nope uh, uh, Joseph, as you were about to try to say something uh you see Dean Tullis showing up on t the top of the stairs. Whoa. Mm. Uh, uh, he quickly hands the paper to Eco. <laughs> <laughs> you just, I, this wasn't in my hands. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, Dean Tullis w looks around. Oh, I guess is. Eco just. Preparations for uh, the Magister's Masquerade. Uh, it's moving things from here to the. Uh, Kalema Hall. Kalemna. Eco just grumbles the paper and puts it in his beak like. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Eco, how are you eating that paper? I know it's fibrous, but there are better ways <laughs> to get fiber in your diet. I can't recommend the toast today. <laughs> Save me! <laughs> Well, I hope all the preparations for the Magister's Masquerade go apace. Well, well we enough. In fact, it appears we're ahead of schedule today. <laughs> what brings you here today, Dean Tullis? Oh, I was just looking at a couple of records that Orb I had talked about. It's been very interesting. I just wanted to know what's going on. Oh, hmm. Can I incite that? Sure. One second. Alright, what exactly are you inciting? Um, <laughs> I guess if the reports that he was looking for led to that paper falling, or...? Just felt like an insight moment. Hmm. Or, um... Yeah, I just kind of blurred out insight. I didn't really have a plan with that. <laughs> He doesn't know. Yeah, no. I blurted out insight. Insight! For what? I'm not sure. But I think yes, I can exactly. see it if I do it. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I sort of general insight. You can read that little guy. Make sure he's not too silly a guy. Silly little guy. Well, she's not little. <laughs> yeah. Because I know I personally don't know much about Dean Tullis. Oh, 
I know Dean likes that. She's, mm. she, well, you know what? Give me just, if you want to know more, give me some, uh, give me some, uh, intelligence check. With advantage, because you are part of her college. Ah. Uh, because she's more whole. Yes, okay. 16? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know that Dean Tullis is polite, but cold. She claims to be cordial with all of her students, however. Mm -hmm. uh, she is the current Dean of Order, a professor of spirit studies. And she's also been called the college's most talented... Pastreiser? Pastreiser? Uh, which college is she? Lorehold. Uh, Dean of Order or Lorehold. Hmm. Alright, include that in my notes, because... Professor of Spirit Studies... Patissier? Oh, Patissier. No, 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 it's got an R! Huh? Yeah. It's got an R! Can you give me the word? <laughs> like, tag it up for me. Astros. Now I'm just seeing a pastor that's baking. <laughs> uh, she could conjure entire legions of ghostly apparitions to react historical events for her lectures. Oh. That's probably Hang on, it might... she's like an expert in the uh, past. It's right. actually an old a term on the table above her. Uh pas past race uh, past razor. Oh, bringing uh, spirits oh, into crazy. the monuments that bear their likeness to learn about their inspiring deeds. So basically, they create talking statues. Kind of like the living portraits in Hogwarts. Yeah. Neat. Uh, you also know that she believes that history repeats itself as an orderly progression towards the material. In her view, the mistakes huh. of the past can inform the choice of the present. In a world of peace and order. She plays oh, things by the per book and frowns on students who embark on Dean Clark's dangerous field trips. Mm. Not that Dean Clark is the Dean of Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> and he says it that way too every time. Yes, he's also a Order of Peace provider. Mm. And in this world, he created Braille. <laughs> nice. Dean of Chaos. Which uh, college was that? Lorehold. That's Lorehold as well. Okay. Yeah, each college has two different deans. Of opposing. Okay, I missed that. Okay, interesting. Like how Witherbloom has a dean of life and a dean of death. Oh, I did not catch that for Dean Lizette then. Which one was Dean Lizette? Was that life or death? Oh boy, one moment. <laughs> Uh, Lizette is Dean of the Root, which means of the root. Ah. She is Root. Yes. I am Root. Just <laughs> boy, I'm going to have to ask you to stop looking things up for me sooner. Sorry. I don't want you to accidentally spoil yourself. I know, I just... I, it mm -hmm. helps me out a lot, but I'm really going to have to ask you to stop helping me. Sorry, a lot of questions today. Oh, no problem. I am a element in that chaos as well, so I admit my part in that. All right, so that's what you know about Dean Augusta Tullis. Augusta Tullis. Okay. That's what Gulliver knows. Yes, that's what mm -hmm. Gulliver knows. The rest of us do not. I don't remember if I showed you what she looked like. I don't recall what she looks like. Hope that helps. Oh, here we go. No, early on I was saving NPC pictures, but... Okay, yeah, that must have been way early on. Whoops. I love her outfit. Indeed. Well, if you don't mind my inquiry, what were you, matter were you looking into? Hmm. I 
last session to be recalled now. What uh, has, how has your research into Chips Hayden's history for the Manchester's Massacre been doing? Uh, I think I have a few ideas. Oh, by all means, share them. If you do, I'll be sure to award you extra credit on the next quiz. I had learned recently that Dean Lysette, Dean of the Root, whom is a world-class healer, had cured the Founder Dragon of Lorehold's secret illness. Ah, oh, yes, I've heard of that. The rumor was not sure if proven yet. But how do you tend to work that into your output? I imagine that I could incorporate a doctor's coat over the normal garb that I was going to wear for the night. Uh, choice for a lore hold student such as yourself to do witherbloom motif, but I like it. Um, personally, while I was looking through things, I was reminded that stars actually look a little different every night. So I thought I'd try to represent that. I have stars. by choosing a specific date and uh, trying to replicate it as best I could. That sounds quite lovely. Mm. And you, Eco? Spits off the piece of paper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Dean walks up. Why? What is this? <laughs> yeah, you know why? <laughs> it doesn't so It's like, why did you have a piece of paper stuck in your feet? Press the dish. No, I could try and talk my way out of this if Ego was smart, but. Uh... Why do it anyway. You do your best. You well, your worst. You might get lucky. You know, with this piece of paper, I wanted to symbolize the. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Because it is also round like a star. <laughs> <laughs> and during the daytime you can't see it, but at night the sky like spits it on. <laughs> Yosef is looking just increasingly confused. <laughs> got, a little, got a little bit of an eye twitch going on, just kind of. Uh, uh. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check with disadvantage. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Not bad. 16. 16, Jesus. All right. Oh no. Well, she looks at you. I think what you mean is that you are simulating the passage of time of, of the sky going from daytime to nighttime. Yes, where the sun disappears and the moon rises. Am I correct? Yes. Ah, oh, that sounds wonderful. It's a very novel idea incorporating this astrology, both of you. Uh, with this, all three of you, I'll be sure to give all three of you extra credit on the next quiz. For context's yeah. sake, she rolled a three on her insight plus two. That's a five. My <laughs> word. <laughs> Thanks, to Dean. I remember the study session with her, like, doing nothing for the extra credits. And he was just there. So it's not he was hiding because she asked him a question and it actually worked. You have BS your way out of this again. Yosef, 
Yosef is going. Joseph just thinks. Uh, Deans must really be pretty clever to make <laughs> sense of that. <laughs> well, as, yes. uh, as Dean Tullis uh, does a little bit of a yawn. <sighs> well, I must be going now. Thank you all. Thank you, students, for your wonderful work. Have a good rest of your day, Dean Tullis. To work, yes, thank you. Farewell. As she leaves. All right, so you guys got extra credit on your next <laughs> test. Congratulations! Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> he goes well. just as soon as she left. He's just staring at his wall. I can't believe this actually worked. <laughs> You're just that John Travolta. I'm a genius. Around clueless. <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Joseph I mean, is just going to raise a hand. Lord. To be fair, to be fair, he has high wisdom. He doesn't have high intelligence, but he does have high wisdom. So <laughs> he's something. Persuasion's charisma, though. Yeah, he has high charisma, too. It, it was more like in context. Like, yeah, that's fair. Hmm? But hey, who knows? Maybe this idea sounds great for Aurora. <laughs> I spit out this paper. I guess <laughs> I just bullshit my way out of it. I guess if you wanted to, you could be like daytime and Aurora night. Uh, yeah, I mean that would that would fit. Hmm. All right, I will say. The rest of the day passes. You've all managed to get all the boxes, and there were tons. When Greta said hundreds, she meant hundreds. And we're all exhausted, and who's buying pizza tonight? <laughs> you guys are indeed all exhausted, so you take one point of exhaustion. Oh, no. Oh, boy. And... Uh, <laughs> I, I will say that yes, the Bozen Tavern does have pizza. It's pizza night. Mm. Now here's the question. Do they cut their pizza in triangles or in squares? Triangles. Circles. Circles. <laughs> they just they just stamp it out with a cookie cutter. Because... No. Nico just takes a whole pizza. That's all. You see, what they do is they cut circles out of the pizza and then cast mending on the pizza that was cut into and then keep repeating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's definitely not how that works, but okay. I know. I know. But no, they cut them in triangles because I freaking hate the square style cut pizzas. <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. Oh! I, I don't <laughs> like those pizzas to begin with from those places because the cheese always fall, comes whenever you bite it. And it's super <laughs> greasy. Stop buying Facino's pizza, people! Sorry. I like square pizza because square pizza is the homemade pizza we always make. <laughs> and it's good. Let's see the pan pizzas from like Pizza Hut are fine because they're in like a rectangle with the party packs. Those are fine! I like those! It's the real thin crust that we have up here, which is awful! Thin crust is the, the more devil. Italian way. It's the devil. I like to chew, no. not crunch my pizza, thank you. Gotta get my jaw a nice good long workout. Sorry about that. Ebby uh, uh, has issues with Opinions. Food. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> Opinions. Alright, uh you guys do you guys get pizza? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's a moving tradition. Do, do you get, like, pizzas for yourselves, or do you get one large one to share? No, I presume we share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Eco. Yeah. Alright, it costs ten silver, and the pizza that comes is literally the size of the entire table. Ten silver. Yes, if we'll pay, because you did pretty well in the package. Appreciate that, Yosef. Oh, thank you, Yosef. 
Also, it is not just cheese. It is essentially toppings spread throughout because they don't want you to get sick and tired of them. Mm -hmm. And it is quite good. And no, there is no ranch. But there is hot sauce. Yes. You guys eat in the day, there at night. Uh, Gulliver, do you bring up the second errand that needs to be done? Yep. In the Sedgemoor, the Bayou. I do not recall the actual name of the herbs we're looking for, but yeah. You are looking for a bunch of marsh wicks. Marsh wicks. I have no idea what that is. Do I know what that is? Uh, roll me nature check. Uh, da, 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 da. Nah. Hey. Not bad. Uh, marsh wicks are phosphorescent. The uh, masquerade organized the committee. No, uh, determine these plants to be perfect for creating starry decorations. Okay. The starlight beacon. So they need a considerable amount of it. They're not really mushrooms. You can describe what they are. <laughs> but, uh, now my mind has wandered off to what's the difference between phosphorescent and luminescent. Ah. Oh, <laughs> That's a great uh. question, Mega Man. <laughs> Second. Phosphorescent glows on its own. Oh, ah. oh so it's okay. like the, pretty, the luminescent just means that it uh, glows when something points light at it. So at the, least I think so. You. The, okay. The mushrooms at Bal and Leah and um, Swish. Mushrooms in Bal Hmm. All right. The next task on our hands, if you guys were still on board, was I needed to find some marsh wicks from Sedgemoor. Were you too familiar with what Marshwicks look like? Yes, shakes his head. Are those twigs? <laughs> uh, no. They are mushrooms that glow by their own volition. Do they taste good? Thousand yard stare. Uh, <laughs> well, if you're soft 20 nature check, these aren't really meant to be eaten. You could, but should you? They're not normally eaten. Ah, Well, I never do anything normal. Wait, no, maybe I'm backwards. Maybe it's phosphorescence that glows when it's exposed to light. Well, luminescent glowing with light exposed to it makes sense, considering that we measure how bright something is with lumens. Yeah, but I think, like, the bioluminescent algae and that stuff is glowing by itself blue. I think it's bioluminescence that oh, is that okay. glows by itself. Well, bio was um, self when it comes to medical terminology, wasn't it? So, bioluminescent, yeah, it glows by itself. Okay, yeah. So, luminescence is the emission of light produced by means other than heat. Mm -hmm. Fluorescence is the emission of light mm -hmm. by an object exposed to electromagnetic radiation. Phosphorescence is when Fluorescence continues. Move to biology class, everyone. I mean, heck, we are technically in a school. <laughs> okay. I learned something. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> they don't give me any information on any of the other classes. <sighs> mm -hmm. Alrighty. And these tasks were expected to be done before the end of the day, correct? No, I think we're doing them on different days. Okay, yeah, we just like, spent six yeah. hours I mean, doing say, you one. Want, if you want to traverse a swamp that you know has no. quicksand in it at night, yeah, no. by all means, I will not stop you. And yeah, with a no, level of exhaustion. Yeah, that's why I was like, it wasn't expected in one day, right? Because that was really time consuming for that other task. Oh man. 
Yeah, I will say this: <laughs> both of these errands are, take up a considerable amount of time. Mm -hmm. But that task might be best safe for another day. Yes, it's just not. Question, do we still have two frogs? We do. Gulliver was absolutely thinking of bringing that, those frogs with him to release them into the wild. But what about my meal? <laughs> you better so that's eat exactly what? why he, that, he was thinking of releasing them. I don't think it would actually help. I think they'd still become a meal, just not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do what you I want. Just, I just imagine you release them into the wild, just something big pops out of the swamp. <laughs> There's always a bigger frog? <laughs> All right, yeah. Frogs are absolutely cannibalistic. <laughs> I mean, anything's cannibalistic is desperate enough. Oh, yeah. Man, by the way, can I just like, I like to say, that's a lot of natural twenties on the right side. Yeah, it hurts my soul. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. There's so much green on that freaking rolling bar. <laughs> and the only red is on my uh, on the left side. On our side, yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> I will say that you guys uh, agree to meet up at the Sedgemore entry points in the morning. And with that, we shall take a break. So you guys head off to, right. breakfast to go to bed. And yes, frogs are safe. Good deal. Hey, hey, ask that of someone else. A certain bird. <laughs> they decided the frogs are safe. Not you. Yeah, that, that's a fair assessment there. Are you going to try and sneak in on Gulliver's room to steal a frog? Are you that in <laughs> into getting a frog meal? Uh, not right now. Not right now. I, I gotta say, yeah. I love this fixation on these frogs since for, the, the, a first appeared. Oh yes, absolutely. Hop, skip, were... and violet. It was kind of traumatizing what happened to Riosa. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> violet the champion. Violet the champion. It won that race. It... I'll oh, be yeah. right back. Gotta check on something. Here, let me append that to my page here. The I champion. Hope, I hope everybody's frog. having a fun time today. Oh, yeah. we, we have spiraled in several different directions. I'm going to use the bathroom. I need water. I'm dying.
to all the totes so I don't know if I should do that. Hi chat, how are you guys liking the session today? You know, I have to say I've actually kind of been I've been using the uh, Strixhaven document stuff and all 20 for this session because DD Beyond's actually really slow today. And I have to say, the night mode makes it a lot easier to read, and it's nice that I don't have to switch between tabs and I can just click on something that I need and it'll just pop up into a little window. I'm like, man, I feel terrible for trashing this girl 20. I apologize. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the horse. Yes. Oh no! Oh oh! Hold up, let me find it. Hold I have just oh. the picture, actually. I am very proud. No, I got a recent photo. <laughs> I got just the picture from when I went to uh, the Milwaukee Public Museum. Got it on my phone. Aha. My phone is slow, though, apparently. There we go, Keo. Ooh. <laughs> burb. Surprised, Burb. When your professor asks what you have in your mouth. Yep. Check me on now if my phone is this, because it's no longer on my phone, it's on the computer. It's all yours if you wanted it for being purposes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, since I can, like, kind of speed draw even if they look a bit wonky but mm -hmm. speed draw my own little <laughs> thoughts that hand you drew for that it just makes me think of that meme get us mm -hmm. which hand the hand you drew for her eco mm -hmm. it just makes me think of that get us meme I don't know what you mean. Uh, hold on. I'm back. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> but I need to mute for a moment because I've I'm been giving something I need to eat. Ooh. I've got you, Kiel. Oh, there's a event with GameStop for electric tariff. It's image. this meme. Oh. <laughs> you know, in Spanish, just. Basically, yes. you want you want. Yeah. <laughs> that hand that you drew has that same energy. Uh, yeah, kind of. Hey, Bruce, you want to do some Neo after this? <laughs> oh, did you play more after we stopped? No, I did not. In fact, I'm where my other character is. I might switch to them, because they're actually specced into Kasari Gama. Like, the actual skills for it. And some actual ninjutsu, like Nimpo. Cow traps are best friend. Because they basically make the enemy slow. Or just mm-hmm. 
that and they're like level 42 my character's like 35 so just barely at the cusp yeah shortly after we said goodbye for that night i fell in the water i'm like i'm not dealing with this shit <laughs> Because I just knew the rest of the night is just going to be me dodging an attack, falling in the water. Me and games where you can't swim in the water don't agree very much. Because I always find my way in that damn water. Yeah, too bad when you can't swim. Speaking of, since we were all both he all three here, we're doing DOS 2 tomorrow. Mm. I know we didn't last week, and I apologize. I was just too exhausted. Are you not? Are you gonna be too exhausted tomorrow? Uh, I'll try to take a nap. I know Eric wanted me to come over for dinner. I know we usually wrap up about five-ish. So, that. I think that's the only plan I have tomorrow. I should be available. Eh, if not, there's always something else to do. I could go back to play FF16, because, man, last night was... Anyways, y'all ready? Sumi has has eaten. Not done yet, but go ahead and start. Alright. Wake up in the morning and your exhaustion is gone. You guys get breakfast first or do you head out to Sesquan? Every good day starts with a good breakfast. Says the man who had burnt toast yesterday. <laughs> that got corrected. <laughs> Yosef felt bad and grabbed me something better. Good. <laughs> Alright, what's on the menu for every for this day's breakfast? We'll start with Gulliver. A new bread item was on the menu today. He saw, for the first time in his life, a scone. He decided to try that with his coffee this morning. And Warning for those out there that don't like him, this scone has raisins. Excuse me, I gotta bring a bot real fast. Uh oh. External links? Yeah. No, not an external link, just someone at. Ah, advertising. Gotcha. Like, hey, I want to offer you promotion for your channel. Why aren't you banned? You're not using the hammer. Have you relieved the safety device? I don't know. Caravan, if you're there, still keep ban that that bot, please. Thank you. I had someone come into my stream before it started last night saying, Hey, I followed you on uh, Twitter. Follow me back, please. I'm like, no. <laughs> Don't know Across the top of the scone, you can see a nice cinnamon sugar swirl. Sounds good, but no raisins. Yeah, I know. I was about to say, that's why I was like, warning for those of who don't like them, this one's got raisins. Thank you. But, uh, yeah, so he has a scone. Eco, what do you have? A more sandwich? Yeah, more sandwiches. This is a croissant witch. They were feeling fancy with the bread works in the back today. Yep. And yeah, it's pretty tasty. It is egg, cheese, and bacon. I should have some shots of my own hot sauce by now, right? Yes, you still have six shots left. <laughs> yeah, but those were the the ones uh, from Geome, right? Yeah. I should have cooked some by, by myself by now, right? Yeah. You have your own. I'll try that stash. this time. 
a dash. Alrighty. You pull, you pick up a bottle of red liquid that is unmarked. <laughs> How hot did that you make this like hot sauce? That sounds like what Ingo would do. Hmm? How hot did you make this hot sauce? Uh... <laughs> Gil's just got a Gil's just got a jar that has a bunch of peppers that says absolutely do not touch. Yo, <laughs> you know what? Give me a D one hundred. One Whoa. is not spicy. One hundred is dear lord, kill me. Come on. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. 91! Woo! Oh, that's pretty good. It's, it's, it's pure essence of Carolina Reaper. <laughs> oh, man. Now I need a constitution saving throw for me for that. Oh, by now he should be used to it, but he still isn't. <laughs> you overdid it, actually. You're, you're always impressed by Guillaume's spices. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's yeah. Still from him. Dispatch, it's got this heat. Oh boy, it's hot. If birds could sweat, they are sweating. Uh, you, Gulliver and Yosef, you see Ingo turn red underneath his plumage. And his beak loses some coloration somehow. And he is just suffering. Get this boy some milk. <laughs> you yes, finds a glass of milk. He could just takes a little zip. You think He's it would high. help? You think it would help? But no, it made it worse. Oh no! Uh, yeah. You said essence you know? of Carolina Reaper. Ooh, yeah, no. Milk ain't healthy much there. Yeah, not really. You know, if Eco had socks, Geome spices would throw him out of them. You, your tongue touched the glass of the milk in the glass and it starts to sizzle. <laughs> this is some good stuff. Now I'm just seeing like a Tom and Jerry cartoon where they spike the milk of milk. It just has a devil laughing in the milk. <laughs> he just takes the bottle of boundless coffee and just chugs. Just no stopping, just chugs. Just doesn't help. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, Yosef, what are you what are you eating as you watch Eco slowly die from this bottle of red sauce they pulled out? Basically, tiny waffles with a bit of fruit and cream on top. Ooh, fancy. Bit of bacon on the side. And he had a glass of milk. <laughs> he does it now. <laughs> He'll go get some more, though. <laughs> All right, you guys are on your way to uh, Sedgemore. Sure. So you guys come back to a place you haven't been to in since your first year. The wet, peaty smell and humidity of Bayou known as Sedgemore. Uh, actually, hang on one sec. Uh... Yeah, actually, before we went, could uh, Yosef have grabbed some rope? Sure. Okay, he would have grabbed a thing of rope. Mm -hmm. Infant, probably. Yeah, you're like, hey, can I have some rope fly? What's the point? We're going to such more. Say no more. Can you just take it? <laughs> just take it. Alrighty, so. Above game, this is an activity that is going to take at least eight hours. Oh I, will I will cast Water Walk on those two. 
water fall face in every battle. Yep. But you can fly. You can even do it as a ritual. Hmm. Is it a ritual? Yes, I believe so. Alt said it was. You can cast it as a ritual, I think, yeah. Yeah, it says so on roll 20. Water walk, third level transmutation, ritual. Yeah. Yeah, nice. it just doesn't say in the little description box. Interesting. Uh, yeah, Eco, you ritually take 10 minutes, you ritual cast water walk, and everybody can walk on water. Uh. So they don't die on, on me water, anymore. Acid, mud, snow, quicksand. Wait, wait, nudge, nudge. Or lava, somehow. <laughs> As if it was part of the solid ground, and you can do this for one hour. Creatures crossing the molten lava still take damage from the heat. Just, just in case you didn't know, lava's hot! Oh yes, we know this in DOS 2, as we threw a troll into a thing of lava and watched it die. Or, the, or we transmuted lava underneath the salamander and watched him die twice to it. Yep. Ah, that's great. Or the time it killed me. Maggie. Well, you should, yeah. but you know what I mean. Nah. Alright, so this area right at the beginning, we're going to say will take you the first hour if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm. One second, I gotta sneeze. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. That's what I was gonna do. Hmm? I forgot I was gonna prep a spell last time. Whoops! I will allow you to prep a spell right now if you wish. Thank you. Okay. Rid of you. That's that, and then does that count? Because I was going to cast locate object. Paladins are uh, word casters, aren't they? That's how we were playing it, like this entire game. I know clerics, wizards. Druids are. Paladins are prepared, yes. Oh. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Uh, rangers, and... sorcerers, and warlocks are the known, I believe. And but now it's going to get confusing because they just removed. Because right. they're all called preparing now. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That one. Uh, describe a name or object as familiar to you. Well, and I know you said earlier. Oh. Yep, you're, unfortunately. You're not super familiar with this. Oh. I mean, okay. Is it an object or hmm. creature? It's an object. Because <laughs> I know that I, I rolled earlier to be see how familiar I was with it, and I think I got like an 18. No, you actually you got a soft 16? 20. So. Soft 20. Yeah, yeah, it's a soft 20. I'll give you that you're a soft 20. But, uh, up to mm -hmm. a thousand feet in front of you. Mm hmm. See, it's spelled to locate a specific object within the 30 feet at least once. Alright, uh, so basically a radar went out and it literally blew up everything in this swamp. So have fun with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Although in your current little box, not much of anything yet. Also, I was about to say, don't forget, if you walk through water, it is difficult terrain, but you have water walk, so who cares? <laughs> All right. But again, keep in mind, it only lasts an hour. Yeah. Yeah, I'd want to kind of move around within that time frame, that locate object, trying to cover as much distance as I could for the use of that. I mean, it's within a thousand feet of you. You can literally just yep. not move. 
and everything is lit up. I guess we just gather it, huh? I guess we need uh, to keep track of time. Yeah. Let's see what my bag of tricks holds. A giant another, rat. Another rat. <laughs> rat. Oh my god. They have a good sense of smell, though, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, let it sniff it up. You see, if it was a pig or a boar, you could use it to locate truffles. Alright, I'll pull up a giant rat token. Mm. Well, give me the oh. alchemy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The dichotomy. Yeah, I'll take the elk too, thank you. Man, and I deleted the elk off my snap. <laughs> Alright, Eco, I'm sending you giant rat stats and uh, help and resource. Thank you. I got my elk back. Ah, oh, beautiful. <laughs> yes. Ooh. Glad it moved. Yeah, it's a big old boy. Uh, huh. Well, let's get looking. Understood. All of it. Yeah, you should be able to control the elk now. Yes. And Just step. A giant rat. She will a third. Nah. I got my elk. Yep. Just right. imagine sake getting of, a second elk. For, for sake of potential initiative, they will go directly after you. Hmm? So for potential initiative in combat, they will go directly after you. Yes. So, <laughs> show me what we're looking for. Alright. I will say in the first hour, you managed to find a bit of... Uh, Marsh wicks. They are a tiny mushroom. Mm -hmm. And they are indeed glowing. Well, we have an example of what they look like now, but that's about it for my locate object. Right. And Culver, as you are in the muck, do you start to see? Yes. Uh. Uh. Because water walk only lasts an hour. Yes, it throws your rope. Uh, Wait, water walk. We already are here for an hour? Okay, let's cast it again. <laughs> Does a little ritual for 10 minutes. Alright, after that 10 minutes, uh, doesn't matter who, someone roll me a d20. Oh, not again. You know what? I'll trust someone else with this. But hey, now my elk and my rat have water walk too. Alright, who wants to roll the d20? Who is All rolling? Right. Uh, okay, no one uh, jumped on it yet, I'm doing it. Hey! Oh. Right. Yes! Ooh. I don't know if that's a good, that might be a bad thing. Maybe. Okay, <laughs> that's my one d20 at the time. Gulliver, uh, <laughs> you see off in this area, <coughs> oh, before wait. your locate item, <laughs> Locate object dies. A large, massive patch of marsh wicks. The looks like there's a large patch of them over here. northwest of here. Okay. Walk, walk, walk. The clock, clock, the clock, clock. And with that, it shaves an hour off of your expedition as you harvest all of them. Woo! We're trapped on the island, oh no! <laughs> how bit. far can this elk jump and how far is this? Mm. Well, if it's got enough of a run up, it can jump its strength score. A strength. Okay, it has. It should still be in help and resources. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. It's more. Well, 23. So I can jump 23 feet. Oh no, not not 23. Uh, 19. I'm just, I'm just plussing this shit. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, 
Uh, 19. Okay. Let's see. How far is this? Why is the elf jumping? Mm. When you could just water walk. Well, because because that's a, a level three spell slot. Well, ritual casting doesn't cast uh, use a spell slot. Oh. Yep. Well, so well, you yourself back in spell slots. How do I get minus one spell slots? <laughs> by accident. Yeah, so, so. Oh no! You've broken the game. So Eco. So, <laughs> no, so I just Kios, misclicked. Since you haven't really done this, uh, ritual spells allow you to cast the magic after. Doing a ritual for 10 minutes or 11 and you don't waste a spell slot. Wizards oh. take it one step further and they can cast a ritual spell even if it's not prepared. Oh. Well, it's in your book. I forgot yeah. about that detail. Huh. Well, then let's just cast Water Walk again and walk back. All right. uh, we shouldn't we keep already. walking further? Or, yeah, check if we have, we need more. Alrighty, uh, someone give me another d20. Alright, I'll do it this time. Yep, figured. Oh. Alright. Not a one, but it's pretty close. Feel free to move yourself to the next point on the map that you wish. No, so you head this way. Yeah, that is a five. Uh, well, okay. Uh. All right. Uh, let's see. Give me survival check. Anybody? Any one person or everyone? Uh, anyone. No, well, mine's not great. So. Uh... Here you go. Yeah, I could try. Huh. That's stealth. It's... I said survival. Oh, yeah. One further down. There we go. Alright, Eco, you that works to uh, discover a nice little bundle of mushrooms over here as well. Oh, Thereby nice. Thereby shaving off another hour. Above and we're casting again. <laughs> no, it shaves an hour, so you... Rather than the six. Of, like, instead of being here for eight hours, you're now here for like six. Six. Ah, okay. That's sick. Hmm? That's awesome. Legends. Yeah. You guys are getting real lucky. Uh, give me another D20 as you move further. That is a building I'll do eco. It this time. Yep, eco's turn for a D20. And eco, you're inside a building. Oof. Um, what? You're in a you're building. In building. Right yeah. These boxes with doors on them are buildings. Yeah, yeah, I'm sitting on top of the building. That's right. The rat ran in. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Right, one second. So what's going to try and eat us? All right. As you guys are trekking towards a tree stump, uh, you hear some cr loud crashing. I like you guys roll me. Are you going stealthily or not stealthily? Mm. Well, stealth it is. I don't think you guys are really doing stealth with this. Mm. Well, like, we're not doing... Oh, this. <laughs> clomp, clomp, clomp. You know what? Give me a perception check. Perception! Ha! Ah. Ha! Ah. It's another twenty on the other side. All right, Eco. <laughs> because you are on top of the roof, you see a familiar sight, a familiar creature with a very familiar blue color, and it reminds you of last year. Nope, I'm out of here. And you see a blue slad. Looking around, scratching its head like it's lost. And if Gulliver sees this, he technically has to fight it. Yeah, I do not at the moment. 
What do because... you do, Eco? <laughs> We're busy gathering mushrooms. We don't know it's there yet. <laughs> we just assume it's your elk making all that noise. Yeah. <laughs> Quietly hopping down to the others and be telling them? Wait, no, you can fly, <laughs> just flutter down. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. But is that quiet? Alright, so you tell the two that you see a large blue slad? Yeah. Another one of these. We shall what cast it back from whence it came. Okay. But we could try stealth with a giant elk. I'm going to roll a perception check for it to see if it notices me now. Gulliver just raises his hammer <laughs> in response to your suggestion. Well, it rolled a two plus one. That's a three. So it, it looks real lost and confused right now. Like, why oh, I just imagine a big gobu. Just standing yeah. there, looking around. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. I'm sneezing. That's it. <laughs> well, we can get the jump on it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that roll, I would definitely say that you can get that surprise round off on it. You see, Gulliver's cheeks starting to puff up. Surprise round. All right. Yep. I'll say roll initiative first. My Ooh. god, this is the first time I've got an initiative! Oh. Amazing. Hey, it didn't do too bad. So, surprise round is up first. Uh, Eco, you go first. Yeah, Followed by your see. elf and giant rat. Now, mind you, your elk and giant rat are behind the buildings. So you do not know that this thing is here. Yep. I don't know. I think I would go with the dice are always greener. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah, you know that doesn't sound too bad. <coughs> I will throw a moonbeam on at it. Alright, how big is that? It's a team. Five foot radius. So, Ooh. ten feet wide. So, so, like this. Oh well, tag be sort of like this too. But I think this is more what it needs to be. <laughs> Nope. 
Sorry. Boy, this is real sticky. <laughs> You know, it's basically the length, the size of this token's control pack. There we go. Hmm. Alrighty, let's see. It needs to make a. I think it's happening on its turn. Yeah, for the first time it starts its turn, so. Don't need to do anything until its turn starts, which All I don't right. know if that's now or after <laughs> Gulliver. Well, it is technically its turn right after oh you my. go, but it is a surprise for me. So, yeah, I guess I'll make a constitution saving throw on it. It's not a shape changer, so... Yeah, it's not that kind mm. of slide. If it was a duck slide, yeah. Advantage. Hmm. You know, being an extra planar nonsense. Yep, well, it definitely saves, so feel free to roll your 2d10, uh, Eco. Radiant. As you uh, summon your moon beam, it takes some damage. It doesn't look like it did a lot, though. You know that these things are resistant to magical effects and other types of spells. Uh, Gulliver, is that. or is the elk and giant rat turn? Yep. The giant rat won't really get there, but the elk can actually make it with. Oh yeah, it can make it. It's got stupid movement. <laughs> yep, it can make it, and it will charge. Oh. A melee. It. Yeah. <laughs> a giant elk just comes out from behind the building and just runs at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be pretty scary. Antlers down. <laughs> High speed. Okay, so most of them mm, takes an extra two d six. Damage. Extra seven damage. Yep, alright. Uh roll a ram attack, D20 plus six. And don't forget to move your elf into your attack position. Yeah, that hits barely. All right, so now we need a lot. How do I how do I get rid of the the square descriptions because they're blocking my vision? Oh, you talking about this? How do I work? We're you talking about the measure it's thing. Over, is it over the slide? Yeah, the one point five feet squares. Uh, yeah, you wanna? There should be like a little box with a. There's like a little garbage can when you hover over the box to the top right. That just deletes the whole thing, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want instant, not linger. Mm-hmm. No. Unless you need the linger. Okay, it's here, and now I can roll... Well, I'll just How much was it? Little bitties. Uh, you hmm. want 4d6 plus 4. Also, you're nice. technically a square too close. Oh. 
I'll just so put him here. 46 plus 4. And I need to make a strength save with my 20. Quick question, DM. Is Water Walk still active? I think so. I don't know. No, it's not. Okay. Two points of damage. Wow. That elk is not messing Woo. around. Elky boy. Now I need to make a strength save. Which he does not have advantage on, I believe. Nope. But that's a natural 20 for 25, so... This thing gets rammed by an elk and it does not get bunched an inch. Very impressive, but also very scary. <laughs> Alright, pretty sure your elk does not have much attack. I don't think so, no. Nope. Alright. Uh, it is the blue slad's turn, and it takes the damage from the green bean. And Gulliver, it's now your turn. You see this okay. aberration. And what was that call on uh, Water Walk? Is that selective or no? It is no. No? Okay. That's fine. No, he's not. I was debating, but nah. Yeah, I hear you. Would have been funny, especially if they walked into the quicksand. Okay. Gulliver will here go about here. You know what? Like right here. And then he will cast Shield of Faith on the Elk. Alright. Go Battle Moose. <laughs> <laughs> it's My about, that's an elk. So eek uh Keo, the elk's AC is uh, 16 instead of 14. Okay. And then for my action, you'll see Gulliver's cheeks swell and swell and swell until <laughs> acid spitting onto the slot from here. Bop. Uh, excuse me, that. Let's see. Dick saving the throw. The DC is... Eight plus five, thirteen plus proficiency. Proficiency is plus three right now. So that's fifteen. Well, it barely makes the save then. I guess it takes nothing because I don't yeah. see anything. Nah, I don't, it's a save or suck. I don't see any if save, so. It's a uh, deck, so I guess it's be dodging it. You spit on the, uh, you spit your ass onto this giant blue frog, ironically. You remember <laughs> Pilot the Champion. And yep. it, the acid hits it, but it doesn't do anything else. Alright, and then Gulliver will move out of the way of the, like, one of the few paths to the slide. And that's my action, bonus action, and most of my movement. Alright, Yosef, you're up. You see this blue frog, you Yep. From a year Let's ago. See. Yosef will go. Guess I'll go. There. Oh. I choose the right tool. Yeah, he'll go here. Peek around. And. Hit it with. Hexblade's Curse! It has been cursed. And then he will fire... The Thing. Say the line, we'll do the any words, Warlock! Eldritch Blast! And that hits. The second Ooh. one, is, you know. That misses. <laughs> that miss. Oh well. No love. Oh, whoop. Uh, I left Hex on, I ignore the four. So, 15 points of damage. Wow. Woo! Too good! Big. Alrighty. And then he will inch behind the elk. Alright. Turn order. Eco, it is now your turn. That is the surprise round. This is round one. Okay, I'll move behind my elk. You cannot 
not see which slab because the elf is blind. Yeah, for now that is fine because I'm casting Aura of Vitality. Oh, oh hang on, is that concentration? Oh, that yeah. Is. And you will lose Moonbeam. Yep. You only do one oh. concentration spell at a time. Yeah, I, 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 I thought, like, do we have a concentration on? Yeah. Then I will keep that I mean, and you just... Can, you can do it, just... Be aware of what it costs. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I will I will do that next round then. Uh, I will just fly up so I can see it. How... <laughs> Alright, so your fly speed is the same as your movement speed. You move from So I can to still fly speed. 10 feet up. Okay, thank you. It should be at least a 30 right yet. It's been a while since we've done serious combat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I can cast Toll the Dead on it. Alrighty. Okay, wisdom save. Well, it failed, so uh, roll your uh, 1d12. 2d12. Yeah, roll your damage. Ooh, 2d12 now, because of 5. Wow, twenty-three points of damage. That was brutal. Well, he remembers. He remembers that guy. Yeah, he infected you with chaos mage. Bitch, not fun. Yep. All right, Eco, is that your turn? Uh, yeah. So the oak. Now the elk's turn, and giant rat. Yeah, the rat is still sitting there, and I won't let it fight. It's, it's just too small. It's just eating like this root that it found. I'm assuming you're doing your hoof attack with the elk. Ah, uh, can I? Since it's not prone. Well, yep, yeah, it has to target a prone creature. Oh, then yeah, it'll be a ram attack then. Interesting. Yep. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. So... The hooves are 4d8. That's pretty cool, boy. Yeah. That's a spicy move. So we're rolling at these d20. Plus six. Plus six. Ah, that damn. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, well. Alrighty, it is now blue slime. As it generates, and then a con save. That actually, your spell save is fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, that fails. Holy crap! Uh, roll your <laughs> moonbeam damage, Eco. Okay, what was that? Two D ten. Two D ten. Two D ten. Okay. Fourteen. You're doing really well. These damage rolls. <laughs> yeah, you knocked. Yeah. The the stuff that he regenerate is now gone. And a bit extra, even probably. All right, it is not liking this moonbeam whatsoever, so it's going to move over here. You know, it hates the elk even more. So it's going to attack the elk with three attacks. Okay, okay. Poor LP. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna hit. That is a twelve. I'm gonna use fighting style. Oh no, I'm gonna use fighting style protection to impose disadvantage on that attack. Alrighty then. It's within five feet of me. <laughs> that is. The elf. That okay, is I'll let 20, you do it yourself. That, that is a twenty-five to hit. Right. Eh, it probably wasn't gonna do a whole lot. Yeah. Alrighty. So when was the rebar? You can still use your reaction for silvery barbs. Yeah. Is silvery barbs what's... disadvantage or a reroll? It's a reroll, I believe, right? I think so. Yep. Triggering creature reroll d20 and use the lower. Triple disadvantage, baby! Alright, I'll allow it. Who do you want to give advantage to, Eco? 
Uh, my allocation. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know, that's fair. Go, 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 bad luck. That is still a good elk. That is a 19 to hit. That still hits. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. As it opens its big gaping mouth for 11 points of piercing damage. And now it unleashes its two claw attacks. Yeah, I need a piece of paper. Mm. That is a 21 to hit. <laughs> that still hits. Thanks. And I do not believe you need to make a constitution save. Cause... That is 14 slashing damage. Yeah, the target is human. This is not human. So. And it's third claw attack. That is a 10. That's not going to hit. Nope. Okay, so wait, we are. Alrighty. Gulliver, it is now your turn. Mmm. He's scary boy. You just see the elk get wrecked. Thank goodness it's going after it, not you, mate. <laughs> the elk is two sizes larger than us, so we can move through its space, right? Hmm. If you're a, a halfling or a gnome, sure. No, the halflings get get it because that's a special ability for them for creatures one size larger. I think allied creatures two sizes larger you can move through, but hang on, let me look it up. I will still say no for the elk simply because it has long legs. And you have distinctively told me are a big man. Ditto with Gulliver. Yeah. <laughs> like, you are tall and wide. Alright. Speaking of Gulliver. Excuse me. Show uh, me what you got. Gonna inch my way around, uh, Yosef then. Excuse me there. You can't move through allies. That is true. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the elk is considered an ally, but he's just too big. All right, then let's go to town on this thing with my warhammer. I can find it. I'm blind. It's at the top of my page. Excuse me. Nineteen. Yes. Let's make that a smite. 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 Bah. And then that press hit posterity there. Yeah, we'll even get a little spicy with it, make it a second level. Oh, ho, ho. All right, well, Warhammer damage and then spike damage. Ha! Ah. Seven. All right. In. Do, 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 do. One D8 per level. Okay, so that's three D8. Oh, yeah, I'm right. Bah! Wow. And guess what? I'm gonna swing again! My oh, extra attack. Huh? That barely hits. Haha. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm pretty certain I can't smite back to back, or was I wrong about that? Let's see. I mean, it doesn't say that it's a uh, bonus action. Okay. It just says when you get a creature of a melee, you can spend one spell slot. Yeah. I got mixed. I got mixed thanks to Baldur's Gate. I'm pretty certain that smites a bonus action in there. Mm. Anyways, yeah, let's make that one a level one smite. It, it's, ah. your, it's your spell slot uh, smites yep. that are on bonus action. Mm-hmm. Is that correct, it, Sumo? Uh, yes. The smite spells such as burning smite and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Though this is changing next time, because it's going to be once per turn regardless. Well, we're not doing six at Woo! We're doing five. Max damage smite. Uh, one more D8. Oh, oh, yeah. Right, 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 right. Two D8 at base. I do, and sods are not Thank feet. you. Yeah, sods are aberrations, not feet. Okay. So you don't get any bonus. 
Yep. <laughs> Although maybe if they update the watcher, that should be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gulliver, you are going toe to toe, dipping, diving, dodging, cracking the Earth's Warhammer into its supposed genitals if it had any. Oof. It is looking rough, but it's still standing. Yosef. And that's, yep. Yosef will back up. Since he can't get around the elk or through the water. I mean, you can go through the water. You'll just have to. Yeah. It's just, you'll have half the. Well, hang on, let me measure that. It's, uh, difficult to... I'm gonna say this now, the quicksand is over by the area where you guys were first at. Ah. Uh, oh well, yeah, actually, if I use all my movement, I could get right there from where I started. Hmm. Yes, we'll splash through the water. And it's Maulin time. Aha. Uh -huh. right, summon your maul like Noctis summons his swords in FF15. Hi guys, that'd be a lot of fun. He makes a lot of references. That hits. Woo! 21. Right, and let me do another one for Thirsting Blade. That also hits for 27. One. Woo. Two. Ouch. Two. Big. Three. Smash. Hey. hey, Yosef. <laughs> that 27 is a 19. You crit on a 19 with X Blade's curse, correct? Wait. Oh. Hmm? Roll a 1d20 19 plus 5 charisma. No, that's plus 12. One plus 3 proficiency equals 18 plus 5 plus 1 plus 3. Oh yeah, it's an 18, yeah. Oh, darn. Because I did program this to actually do a crit on a 19. Woo! Because you can do that. Mm -hmm. Alright, this sled's looking pretty brutal, but it's still up and running. Eco, it's now your turn. Now, since it's out of the moonbeam, I can cast my... Aura of Vitality. How many guys just moved the Moonbeam? And yeah, none of us have been hurt except the elk. Yeah. Well, then. Yeah, I'm, I'm healing my elk. <laughs> it might be faster just to use. Well, yeah. Whatever. And you'll whatever. see spell slot. You know what? You do you, Eco. Yeah. I, was about, I wanted to say something, but yeah, that's meta. Alrighty. Healing energy, but... like 30 foot radius. Yes. Also, I'm I'm flying down again, so. I'm... Good lord, that's huge. <laughs> yeah. Turkey is quite massive. Yeah. All right. Um, and on your bonus action, you can cause one creature into aura and gain yourself to regain two d6 HP hit points. Yep. Four. Oh so my. Four more HP to back to the elk. Yes. The last four it missed. Four. <laughs> my calculation. Nice. Uh. As your action, bonus action, and sub move. Yep. Also, your reaction is back. Yes. All right. So it's Jelk's turn. Alrighty, elk. Ram them. Yep. Ad advantage. Yep. So, oh. D20 plus 6 twice. Yeah, I know there was a shortcut right, to do an was... advantage, but I forgot. First one is a 12, so we rolled again. Now it's a 20! That hits! Oh, <laughs> Alright, so basically, uh, 4d6 plus 4. Do you even need to roll? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
have six in there. Thanks for making my math much easier. All right, you, the elk just gores the blue slat in front of you, Culliver. It is brutalizing this giant frog. You remember last year that it gave you some issues. This time, no. And you remember the power of this elk. It is now the slad's turn. What does the slad remember? Well, this is a different slad as it wounds regenerate a little. And True. It's mad at Gulliver because it attacked you and smited you. It, but it's also really mad at the elk and it's <laughs> mad at Yusuf. Yusuf. It's mad at a lot of things right now. Mm-hmm. So... It's hey, mad. guess what? It has that many attacks! Hey, would you look at that? But I'm gonna roll a d4 to see which it'll focus on for three of its attacks on. Oh. Alright, it looks at you, Gulliver. And opens its mm -hmm. mouth. Oh no. Does a 19 hit? It meets it. Ouch. Huh. It's already a barbecue. <laughs> Alright, then there's your reaction. Here you go. So I re roll. Would you, would you give advantage for an ability check? You have yada for the attack roll? Um. <laughs> To Gulliver. It, it worked really well for the elk. Yeah, I was about to say the elk's <laughs> putting in work. Yes, but it probably won't yeah. survive the elk's next turn, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, you're right. All right, the Not next so roll is a 24, so both Yeah, hit. that... Yep. Damn. That is 13 points of piercing damage, Gulliver, and I need a constant Ouch. saving throw for shield faith. All right. Constitution saving throw. Yep. Da, 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 da. I forget. Would it's able to just just a concept. Just a concept. Just yep. concept. Yep. Click con save. Yep. Yep. In the back. Saves box. And oh. you lose shield of faith. The elk's AC is back to fourteen. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh, so sad. It used a lot. <laughs> Not that it was of a lot of use. Shield of faith is no. good for high AC characters. Mm -hmm. No, That's like uh, with the slad. The, uh, the slad yeah. just still slapped it. It would have helped Gulliver. Yeah. It's uh, claws come out towards you, Gulliver. First one mm -hmm. being an 18. That does not hit. You raise your shield and block it. You see little tadpoles trying to reach you as another claw comes in. Oh. Well, that's a 13, so that one doesn't hit. Nope. Nice. Sorry, 15. Is, is that all you've got for me? The slide's <laughs> looking worried, especially because it's now your turn, Gulliver. And you have advantage <laughs> regardless. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ready for that nat 20 smite. That would just be right. ridiculous. Let's go with the Warhammer. Hiya! That hit? Oof, so that close. Warhammer damage. 13. Do you smite? Let me see. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Let's smite. Time to smite! Keep track of your spell slots because smite yep. consumes those. Same with you, Eco. I'm aware. Oh, okay, not one. Two. Do we have uh, free silvery barbs a day? Oh, right! You do? We do from that. I have a free shield. Each of you has a free silvery barb. Yep. Nice. And after 21. You the first one, then it'll require spell slots. So, Eco, you have used two silvery bars. Mm hmm. All right. Ready for your second attack? This thing looks like it's going down soon. Unfortunately, that misses. Yep. Oh, well. Can't win them all. But that's okay. But you know what, can? You have Yosef following up from behind. <laughs> Unless that's Oop. not the end of your turn. That, yeah, that's all my economy. I don't have anything I want to do with a bonus action right now. Okay, those are your turn. Indeed. I can win with them all, though, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, that hits. And go ahead and roll the other one. I mean, 
I mean, it probably Roll won't matter the first for one first for damage. Yeah, you just yeah. take your maul and you just crush its head in. It is dead. Really? <sighs> That was less uh, difficult. Use a bonus action <laughs> to heal Gulliver. Alrighty. 2d6! 2d6? You get 4 HP Oof. back, Gulliver. Oh, at least a little bit. Yep. And you have, I believe, <laughs> 8 more! <laughs> Silly. So, throw those out how you like them. I guess. Did you also take any damage in that fight? Nope. No. I nice. it, it focused on the elk and Gulliver because the elk Hanging. does a ton of damage. <laughs> I love this guy. He's pretty. He's a good elk. Yeah. Yep. I'm so glad I summoned it. I love this elk. Meanwhile, the giant rat. <laughs> it's still I mean, we or... like you too, right? I'm still to nibbling on the root. Alright, I will say that unfortunately in this bit of combat you may have accidentally crushed the uh, marsh whips underfoot. And at this time your aura runs out, Nico. Let's wait a minute. Oh, shoot. Speaking of auras. <sighs> oh, you're right. Your, your paladin aurons. Yep. God, those. So, Nico just wasted all their. Didn't Nico, get there. Would you like to use the rest of your heals for your air Gulliver and your elk? Oh, yeah. Do you have eight left? <laughs> yeah, okay. Go ahead and keep rolling. You want to just split them in half 4d6 to the elk and 4d6 to Gulliver? Yeah. Well, no, it would be. Well, 8d6 for each, because each one is 2d6. I'll roll 2d6 for Gulliver first to see how much. Yeah, there. So. Yeah, HP back, Gulliver. Yep. I think you're looking pretty good now. Yeah. Like, at most, there's like a small nick. Like, it's it's a scratch, but it, it really is a scratch. No, it's this full of scratch. I feel about as much damage as it Lightly stubbing your toe. Okay, and that's for the elk. Wow. You can get some, some HP back. At this point, Eco probably should have been a druid instead of a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> Doing druid things. <laughs> then they could turn into a giant elk. Maybe. Alright, unfortunately the Marshwicks in this zone have been crushed. Would you like to watch the goat? Uh, try somewhere else, and would you like to cast Water Walk again, Nico? Yes. The Water Walk is back. Mm -hmm. uh, which way do you think we should go? Over there? Or over there? Hmm. Northwest or northeast? I have a place on me. No. Northwest. Northwest. Okay. Let's check out that area to the northwest. Right. So the elk might have to stay behind. Jeez. <laughs> Why? Uh, take up the whole island. <laughs> Why does it have to stay behind? I'm not leaving my elk behind. Elk's just on top of one of the stumps, kind of prancing like a dog that's unsure certain if it's safe to jump or not. 
Yeah. I think stumps actually represent full trees. Nope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> At least in this part of Sedgemore. All right. So we need some wood, wood to build the school. 1d20. I got you, fam. The 10. That is one. There we go. Aha. All right. Roll again. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Eh. Mean. Wenny. Oh boy. Alrighty, after stuffing some bags with more marsh flakes, you hear a uh, sloshing noise and Someone talking in, honestly, not super good common, hmm. say, Excuse me, can you help me? <laughs> As H. Paul walks up. Uh, with, uh, what? <laughs> We know there's a troll chef, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could train some of them. What seems to be the problem? I'm a student. Please help. <laughs> uh, huh? Um, what college do you come from? Insight check heads. <laughs> Though yes. honestly, it checks out. <laughs> yeah. Sure. By all means. Because I have like... reasons this time. Oh, I just nine. Nine. <laughs> three. Expecting the lie. Fantastic. <laughs> he looks so sad and lonely. Well, how how should we doubt his words? All three of you. Gilm's a troll. Yeah, that, that checks out. Sense. And he even is a wither broom. Yeah. Right yep. Oh, what brought you to Sedgemore today? I've been cursed. That's a little beyond anything I can do. In fact, unfortunately, I lack the skill set for that. Well, if you come by tomorrow again... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> right. Because he has to... I don't have it prepared. That's why. We should probably go tell a teacher. What's your name? Uh... <laughs> Scratches ah, yes. for a second. <laughs> The DM's name. <laughs> Character names. Janet. <laughs> ah. Huh. Gulliver's just kind of covering his eyes and looking to the side now because he realized that they don't have a top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There she <laughs> Um. Just if she goes. Crimson. Oh, for forgive us. Uh, yeah, we'll go find a professor in just a few minutes. Oh, persuasion check. Terrible. Not great. Are you genuine? Yeah. He believes us. Mm -hmm. He believes right. Janet. Janet sits down. Okay, I wait. Thanks. 
that's trying to be Gulliver good. will pull Starts out his Starts. priestly vestments and say, Here, you might want to cover up top. Why? I wish we could insight again. Yeah, that'd be an insight. Alright. Insight away. <laughs> oh. Finally. <laughs> oh you. my word. I guess I guess women can be like this too. Y Yosef, she is topless and she is free. <laughs> Some people are like that. Uh Gulliver and Eco, she's literally asking why. <laughs> why do I need to? Well, you were a student, right? Yeah. Surely they had you clothed when you were at the academy. Something. Oh my god. It's not going to go well, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, this is part of what the academy. <laughs> Building a little mud castle. Uh, uh. It's not looking good. <laughs> so anyway, you go get teach. I wait. Okay. Uh. Yes, it'd be best if we went on our way. Gulliver's eye, left eye twitching really bad as you turning away from them. Go, let's. Let's take the elk and hurry. We can come back and finish up. Pretty dear. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, where are you going now? <laughs> away. I guess we're leaving to oh. find some Away I mean... from Janet. <laughs> yep. I mean I mean if We you said we go to... get a beach. I mean if you want to stick around I can fly there fast and get a oh, teacher no. uh do you say that in front of janet <laughs> no i mean you still have to get the shrooms right yep i do so yeah you said that Ooh, a bunch what? of them were smashed how much progress have we lost oh, no one we could have gathered were smashed the what the, the ones where you're currently at don't seem to be in Basically, where we were fighting, we smashed a bunch, so we couldn't collect those. Oh, we still oh, had all gotcha. the ones we before. I misheard that. I thought that he said during the tussle, like the ones we had in a, like a pouch or something were smashed. No, those are fine. I'll say this. You left those with the rat. <laughs> <laughs> Just got Is a that a good idea? Them a bag yeah. hide out of the back. <laughs> it understands Eco's commands. It... It, it kept those safe. It's got a little piece of paper, safety pin to it. Delivery rat. Yes. Small so... note by Eco at the bottom. Goodest boy. <laughs> no, the elk is the goodest boy. You're right. Yes. Janet, the troll, I'm waiting. <laughs> so, so if you guys want to keep collecting in the meantime, I can just hurry there. Because it'll be faster in the end. Uh... You can also Probably. just take the elephant right there. Ah, uh, yes. The elephant is fast. Split the party. The party. Yeah. Hey, rule one isn't a good idea. at all. It's always a good idea. Yeah, especially the one that's giving us water walk. <laughs> we'll head back to the main island, I guess. Because, well, what else can we do? Probably for the best. Alright guys, where are you moving? I guess... Goes flying. And we're going over here. So you guys can still keep an uh, eye out for uh, more, more shrieks. Thank yeah, so that's what we'll do. The rat will stay with you, and I'll take the elk back to... The teachers. 
Is that the plan? I mean, <laughs> you could fly, but mm. yeah. Yeah, but my flight speed is also just 30 and the elk is 60. Also, the elk can carry the professor here faster. Makes sense. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. No, no, that checks out. There is logic in what Full I'm Full of weight. Ahead. They have a point. Alright, Eco and the elk will leave the map area. And this time, I would like another D20, please. Well, well I guess it's that. gotta be me, because it was just you and Eco's not here. It's really fast, Elk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thirteen! Nothing bad will happen. Not an unlucky number at all. No. It's a lucky number for my parents, so it will be fine. Joseph, you find some Marshwicks nearby. Oh, we missed these earlier. They were under this foliage. That's great. How are you doing, uh, Janet? I'm fine. Um... Uh, by the way, you know, so as you go down and pick these marsh wicks, you see some other flowers, and they're very nice and pretty, but they start to move. They start to move? What? Yes, they move. They move, uh, but they don't groove. Uh, Gulliver? A giant mound rises and lashes out. Here's what we call it in the <laughs> tonight. As you know, two split the party mounds come to life to attack the party that we've split. Yep, like it's always the best idea. Eco leaves Sedgwick, he just hears screams. Ah, oh, this is fine. Rule one never split the party, always yeah. split the party. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys for coming, man. It was this is a fun time. I really enjoyed it. Hope you guys liked it. Little yes. Players yeah, and chat. Fun. Glad that uh, Sedgwick was second because this was the more involved one, whereas the previous one not so much. <laughs> yeah. Yep, but was other important. YouTube people, thank you for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. It doesn't matter if you have to. I don't mind. This is just category and logs. Your videos mm -hmm. and whatnot. But, uh, yep. Follow me on Twitch at Evia Gaming. Sorry, Evia7. Lowercase Evia number 7. Or whatever the heck is left of Twitter at Evia Gaming. Bye, everybody. Bye.